Alright, Beats versus John. This would be an interesting Three, matchup. Two, yep. One, go! John picking out the really good music here with Kid Rise Kid Icarus Uprising. And Beats trying to just go in here, maybe making use of these guns. But John just choosing right, jumping around all the projectiles. And finally, Beats is exactly where he wants him, off stage. Trying to call out maybe the Sun Salutation, a soccer ball, just to get any with that Rebel. But nothing's coming out. And Arsene is finally here to play. We hit forward tilt though so fast. As Beats is trying to maybe cover John trying to edge guard. Reversing the situation. Using those guns to stall for the back air. John opting not to wait in the angel platform. Wait out the R7 and be like, it's it's gonna go away just any minute now. Wow, using the guns to go straight under the Sun Salutation. Really good presence of mind there. You know, when you're playing here in New York City, you always gotta be <laughs> trying to get that slide off platform. It's a bit two jab locks. It's a good idea there with the guns. But Beats couldn't quite execute it. Again, trying to cover with that. An untackable situation, and John takes Beats' first stock. Alright, Rebel's Guard, one more time to get it, and Arsene is here to play once more. Now, Beast has always been incredible with using those guns to their advantage, whether it's stalling or pressuring from afar, but this has been just masterful as they've stalled in the air to mix up their approach here. And a good drag down, down smash. Once again, using guns to edge guard, keeping that soccer ball away from them. Not soccer legal, but you know what? Here in Smash Brothers, anything goes. Rebels guard once more against that soccer ball. Popping John up at 151. Now Joker can struggle to kill without Arsene. But they can set something up with maybe a forward tilt or a back air. John knows what he wants. Neutral air to land, catches beats. And still nothing, 169. Arsene twice in one stock. Finally a forward tilt just powering through the soccer ball, the Sun Sal, and John is on his last stock. Double dunk? That's gonna be it! And John's immediately like run it back. That was such a clean game. And really the win condition there is whenever John is too low to recover there, you can definitely double dunk pretty easily. As we saw here, trying to catch that two frame, John's head does pop a little bit underneath, so it's a good option. Stop the battle. Now John has said about the run back to small battlefield, if he loses, and loses pretty badly, he'll just say run it back. Now John trying to just try to mix these Sun Sal timings up. And it looks like to be in his favor starting off. The beats fighting back. Pressuring off stage once more with the back airs. John is struggling against this onslaught of bullets at the ledge when he's recovering low. Beats is gonna have to keep this in mind as John is trying to maybe mix it up by recovering high later on in the game. Okay, I I have now got all my ducks in a row. Nice. Uh, Welcome back. Yes. Go go retweet the matches, guys. Anyway, please, please do, folks. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I saw the, the that last kill that 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 Arsene spiked, just yeah. sending her to the depths, not able to come back. Yeah, John was trying to mash for his life. Didn't work out though. Yeah. Sometimes, no matter how hard you mash, you can't recover. Looks like John is starting off pretty strong on this game, too. Ooh! Yeah. I mean, that's what he didn't do last game, was follow Beats offstage. Usually he was on the opposite end of that. Yeah, and honestly, like, it's it's good awareness and reaction, because, like, when he does Ega, uh, Ega uh, it's pretty laggy, so you're just kind of a sitting duck at that point. 
So if you're hanging low because it spawns high going down, like you'll just go under it. Ooh! And that board smash covering both sides. John, this is a different John than we had game yeah. one. Beats definitely getting hit by the numbers difference. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Sheesh. Wow. That's it. Feel the burn. He was like, and don't you forget it. <laughs> Damn. All right, let's take a look. Replay. Hello. It's not in the books here. No replay. Okay, there we go. But yeah, John unafraid here, having advantage and just running away with it the whole time. That roll. Yeah, the forward smash covering in all sides. But are we going back to small battlefield? Is this what we're looking for here? Yes, we are. And this is what I was talking about. If John loses, he'll want the run back immediately. If he wins, though, he'll ban. And giving the other opportunity for the opponent to choose something else. But looks like Beats is double going. I, I, I think John's philosophy is that if they just do the run back, then he just lets them do the run back and doesn't really ban anything. Uh, he John, did ban this time. Did he? Yeah. Oh, did he fill it out? And yeah, then he filled it out. out. Yo, all right, shout out to John. Filling out the stage level and then clearing it. So then I thought that no one did it. But very nice, very nice, perfect. All right, John recovering though. He's trying to keep him off stage. It was what won him the first game. We're not seeing a lot of is this Rebel Guard. One, once our son is gone, and there we go, some good stalling. The stalls are back. It is also something that Vitz was maybe trying to not rely on so much that second game. He stalls in the air with the guns. The Rebels guard to try to get Arsene as fast as possible. And now just bullying John off stage. But he comes back, those hula hoops, thicker than you think. And one thing that wasn't working game one but did spook John was using that Aether off stage to cover the recovery. To at least do some damage off stage. And here we go. We got another person on the mic. Hey, good to see you, man. You look very cozy in your sweater. Thank you. It's a really cozy sweater, honestly. Yes. Yeah. You have to remind me of your name. I'm so right. sorry. Big Easy. Big Easy. Yes, yes. Oh, perfect. And yours? A uh, Swiss Rider. Nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Big yeah. Easy. You played my friend in bracket. Oh, I, nice. oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he scared me so yeah. much. He's a scary guy. He's pretty intimidating. He's super nice though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's chill. Hopefully, we put on a good show for you. Yeah, yeah. He made it pretty far, actually. I think he just lost to the Pikachu, no? Yes. Yeah. 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 So two and two is his second time here. So not no the worst. way. Yeah, not the worst. He's got to keep coming back. He's yeah. only gonna get better. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right, but what do you think about this matchup? We got Vitz versus John Numbers. Now, Vitz has played John a lot in Bracket here. Right. And he's just trying different things to pressure John off stage. Yeah. Who's coming out on top more often? This is some good edge guarding, honestly. Oh, yeah. No, it's usually John who comes out on top. Yeah. But, uh, some good guns off stage. Very nice. He's trying to do guns off stage a lot, and it's been helping him out. But once John gets in, it is like the Terminator. Those deep breathing combos, that damage is incredible. Yeah. Just look at this, dancing around everything. You think you're faster than Gun? I mean, John is faster than Gun. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, good tech. Yeah, that isn't untackable. No tech November is. Uh... Oh, oh my God! Oh, that was awesome. He played around the shield so well. Jeez. Oh. I feel like that was a hail mary forward smash, yeah. and it still <laughs> it worked out. I think John is asking, "Did you do that on purpose?" Yeah, and yeah. he's like, "Yeah, that was the hardest of reads." Yeah. Good gracious. Oh, let's look at this replay. Right. Now, if you do want to work with the replay here, it is kind of like if you've ever seen like a sports thing, you can oh. actually draw on it and stuff. Very nice. Yeah. Wow, high tech. Exactly. It's what keeps people coming back. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was, that was a just nice a nice combo. conversion. Yep, yep. And then right here, if we see, it wasn't really a setup here for that forward smash. Oh, but John's guns off stage. And it, it backfired. Yeah. Literally. Well, the guns backfired, literally. That's crazy. I mean, that's what happens. Sometimes uh, they're just uh, put in the wrong way. Yeah, this was just a hard read. <laughs> it was just hard a hard read. read. It's what John does as well. You know, he's always talked about, like, I've always asked him, like, whenever he just throws out a forward smash, and I'm like, did you do that on purpose? Yeah. And he's like, no. <laughs> I mean, Joker is so fast, so I wonder if he even gets punished if he whips it there. Right. Probably. So, anyway, he's coming in. And then John is approaching a lot with just jumping in, right? Mm. As we can see there. Nair's on shield. Right, and going yeah. through the platform. 
And even if he lands on the platform, it's just good pressure for him to just shield and has an opportunity to maybe do some up airs to like keep him in that and poke through. Yeah, for sure. So for yeah, sure. great presence of mind.